I'm going to demonstrate how a couple of logical operators can be used to check multiple conditions. Um, and what I'm talking about is the AND and the OR. Um, I'm going to be showing my examples in C Sharp and also using Unity. The first logical operator I'm going to talk about is the AND, and that is usually described as two ampersands. Um, an AND statement is only true if all parts of it in that it's evaluating are true. So the example I wanted to talk about is, let's say a person can only get their driver's license if they're at least 16 years old and they pass the driver's test. So the statement for that would look like this. So we've got age is greater than or equal to 16 and pass test is true. So if pass test is a Boolean. Now they could be older than 16 and not pass the test. And since both conditions aren't true, then the entire expression would not be true. So looking at this code, if we put it into an if statement, I've got my two public variables. Uh, I made them public so I could edit them in the inspector. The first one, I have an integer age, and I'm setting it to 17, so they're definitely old enough to drive. And a second one, a Boolean, I'm calling it pass test, and it's false. So they either didn't take the test or they didn't pass. So here's my if statement. And still inside the parentheses, I'm going to put my entire expression I'm checking. So the first part of it is if age is greater than or equal to 16 and pass test is equal to true. So it'll check both. Both of them need to be true in order to run this first part. If either one of these is not correct, so if they're, they didn't pass the test, but yet they were old enough, it would go to the else. In this case, they probably wouldn't even take the test unless they were at least 16, but um, in general, that's how it would go. So let's go over to Unity and see this work. So I have my C-sharp script um, created. I have my game object up here, and I dragged the script there so it could run. I'm going to go ahead and go into my script, and let's um, try that out. We're not going to be using update. I'm going to get rid of that. So here, I believe I had a public um, int age, and let's do the same example. Let's say there's 17 and public bool um, pass test, and let's say they did not pass the test. So a Boolean is really just um, either true or false, and so it's a good way to keep track of things like is the game over or not. All right, so here let's do our if statement. If um, age is greater than or equal to 16 and notice once again two equal signs and they pass the test, I can can legally drive and you cannot drive yet. So let's run that. At this point it should actually say you cannot drive yet because even though they're 8, 17 they did not pass the test. So let's try that out. So let's jump over here and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And we should check the console and it should say you cannot drive yet. If you notice in my script, I have the age is 17 and the Boolean is unchecked. So they did not pass. So let's change it to, let's say they did pass, show it's true. And I hit play and now it'll be, you can legally drive. All right. And so let's change the other thing. Let's say they are only um, 15 and I hit play, it'll also say you cannot drive yet. So both conditions need to be true in order for um, that to be true. Now the other one that I'd like to talk about is the logical operator OR. And an OR statement's true if any part of the statement it's evaluating is true. So it could have multiple parts. Um, it could have two, it could have more. Um, and the OR symbol is just really created by using the pipe 
on the keyboard. And that's the key just above the enter key above the backslash. An example of this could be a person can enter a concert venue if they're 21 years of age or older or are accompanied by an adult. So the statement would look like this. Age is greater than or equal to 21 or with parent is true, equal to true. So let's say a person's 19 but goes to the show with their mom. So although they are not greater than or equal to 21, because we're using an or, if they're with their parent, this whole thing would be evaluate to true. So if we want to see that in an if statement, it would look like this. So we've got uh, an integer age, let's say it's 19. I have a Boolean um, saying if they're with their parent or not, and it's set to true. Let's say they're going there with their mom. So if age is greater than or equal to 21, or with parent is true, then it'll say you can go into the venue. And since it's 19, that's not true, but this is true, this whole thing then evaluates to true. So it would do the first part, it would not do the second part. So for this to fail, both parts would need to be false. So they would need to not be with a parent and younger than 21. So let's look at what it looks like in Unity. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change my script here. And so let's say, we could just leave them at 17 and let's say with parent at this point I'm gonna have them go with their parent so in this case I'm gonna have if they're 21 or older and with parent or true is true but in this case I want this to be or so once again I'm gonna put in two pipes and then I'm gonna change this to So once again, this person's 17, they are going with their parent, then this should be fine because one of them is true. So let me save. Let's try it out in Unity and try a couple of different um, combinations with that. So let's try the first one. Let's say, let's say here, uh, how about they're 15 and they're with their parent? And it says, you may enter the venue. Okay. So how about um, they are not with their parent, but they are 25. They may enter the venue because they are older than 21. So what if they are um, 17 and not with a parent? Since both of those are false, they are not 21 and they're not with a parent, they cannot enter. However, if they add a parent on, then they may enter the venue. So both, so here, let me show with both. Let's say they're 25 and they're with their parent. Oops, I need to change this again. Let's say they're 25 and they are with their parent. Then they can still enter the venue. It just needs to be at least one of the values need to be true.